Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema Sit Down. So, I got one of two trailers I was hoping to see yesterday. I got Blue Beetle about mid midday. Well, I'll see my reaction to that. You can see it right up there. But the trailer I was really waiting for, the one that features this guy, Miles Morales, and the Into the Spider Verse group. Um, oh, man. I mean, uh, that might be my favorite superhero movie ever. Um, so knowing that that sequel is coming, knowing that it looks as amazing as it looks, and knowing that with this last trailer, we're probably going to finally fill in the gap on like what's going on storyline-wise and why Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099, seems to be gunning for Miles in a lot of these first couple trailers that we've seen. Um, yeah, I, I'm stoked to see what's coming next, and I'm just stoked for this movie because Phil Lord and Chris Miller are our two dudes that I just adore when it comes to filmmaking and what they did with this. Whew, I can't wait to see what they do with number two. So uh, let's not waste any time, man. Why don't you pull up a chair, take a seat. We are getting ready, of course, to take a look at the second official trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And like I said, man, the this movie looks great. And to, to this point, and that's what we have. We have looks. We, we've gotten a lot of looks. We know Miles is getting pulled into something that is going to incorporate the whole, the whole breadth of 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 the spider verse right like you're seeing more spider people than you've ever seen in in a moving picture kind of scenario and that just looks like a lot of fun and then you got spider-man 2099 is being voiced by oscar isaac something i'm very excited about um because i love that guy but this whole new edition cast looks great man it's a ray doing jessica drew who of course is spider woman You've got uh, Karan Sony, who will be voicing Spider-Man India. Um, I'm just going off of the spider people who are listed on IMDb. But the one that I'm pumped for, and we haven't really seen anyone other than Spider-Woman. Maybe a, a, a glimpse of this guy. Um, but Daniel Kaluuya coming in as Hobart Hobie Brown, um, who of course is Spider-Punk. That, that just seems like a lot of fun for this cast of Shameik Moore. Miles Morales, Haley Steinfeld, Gwen Stacy, and uh, Jake Johnson, Peter B. Parker, uh, to kind of be involved with all of these folks. And the animation looks phenomenal. I love that they're leaning more into like a cartoony 2D in certain moments, uh, and there's still a mixture and a fluidity to the animation that's on the screen. The thing with the first one that captured me in, in ways that I just... Why I love the movie so much is that combo of 2D and comic illustration and like three dimensional characters and it, all of it was just marvelous and I love that so far in the first two trailers that we've seen this one looks like it's gonna have more stuff going on with the animation and give it a different feel and different vibe and that's what I'm, I'm pumped for I'm, I'm pumped to see how Lord and Miller up the ante both in the animation and in the story and that is what i'm hoping this second trailer is going to give us so i don't want to waste any more time man let's get the trailer up i'm gonna put my headphones on and uh let's see like i said it, the trailers previously kind of make it seem like spider-man 2099 is gunning for miles so I, i'm fascinated to see what that's all about so let's see i, I better make sure that i get the trailer up because i don't have it up i, I mean you have it up but i don't <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's on my screen. Let's not waste any more time and let's dive in and take a look at the second official trailer for Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. New trailer starts now. Other oh, Spider Man India. My name is Miles Morales. Yeah. One and only sure are. And things are going oh, best. The classic. You were supposed to be here at five. All right, whatever. Whatever? Wow. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mom ain't happy. Dalmatian. I am the spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Miles is great. A in AP physics. That's what I'm saying. And a B in Spanish. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, mom ain't happy at all in this movie. Oh, man. I wonder if they're going to put together that he's Spider-Man. Yeah, I do. Spider-Woman. Spider-Punk! Let's go. The lobby. Must be like, uh... Oh, all right. See, so... 
can never be part of this. Huh. Even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999. How easy on the kid. He had a terrible. Hey, Peter B. Parker. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Miles, being Spider-Man is a sacrifice. It is. Oh, I wonder if they're... Oh, are they gonna... Oh, man, I wonder if they're gonna go down that... Then you got it, right? I can't do that. I can do both! Spider-Man, always... Not always. What about Uncle Ben? If not for uh, Uncle Ben, most of us wouldn't mm. be... All right. Now, now you, now you get why they're, why he's gunning for him. Oh man, I wonder what this threat is. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. And then I looked at my uncle and uh, let me guess. He died. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, I can't frick June can't come here soon enough, man. Ah, oh, June second. I can't wait. Um Dude, that looks that looks so good. And the thing that I, I love about Phil Lord and Chris Miller is that they never while their movies are wildly entertaining a lot of times there's a ton of really good humor clearly with the spider-verse movies you know they can they can create some really cool animated action same with um the mitchells versus the machines um like their their movies are fun but they also balance that entertainment and that humor and that fun with an emotional heart very similar to what james gunn does and you can see that like that trailer was getting me like borderline emotional, man. Like the idea that they could be going down the path of killing Miles' dad. Um, like I I've lived that, obviously, in, in and like in a very real way, right? Playing the the Miles spo spoilers if you haven't played the Miles Morales Spider Man on PS five or PS4, um, or just on PlayStation, um, or uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't, they go down the route, right, where they kill Miles' dad. And that's his loss that he has to suffer to, you know, really become Spider-Man. And, you know, our Miles hasn't experienced any loss. He, he, he's, he's got, you know, just the awesome funness of being Spider-Man. You know, like, as I was filming, I, I, I realized that Miles does suffer a loss in, in Spider-Verse. He, he loses his uncle, Aaron, uh, who's the Prowler. He dies in that, that finale battle. Um, but, you know, I, I think what we're gunning for is like when when you when you lose that you know that 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 immediate family member that person that raised you um that's the thing that miles hasn't lost yet so that's what i'll be super interested to see how they play with anyway back to the other guy and if they're truly putting whatever the the main threat is on the line against miles dad dying now you can understand why why somebody like um Miguel O'Hara is going to be gunning for, for Miles. If Miles makes that choice and the ripple effect is, you know, catastrophic to the Spider-Verse, now you understand why why it looks like they're kind of gunning for each other. And, who man, like getting to see Miguel with his mask off, like... That looks like it's like if I was Miles, I, I would be a little worried. And, and I'm really pumped to see Oscar Isaac uh, and what he does here voice wise. Um, I, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And one of the things like I, I don't sleep on at all when it comes to like the Spider Verse is if you, if Sony opts to take the Tom Holland Spider Man story. Or even the Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire stories, if you pick those up, into a Spider-Verse world. I've said it before, I would love to see Shameik Moore, Haley Steinfeld, Jake Johnson cross over into a live-action Spider-Verse movie. That would be really cool. And one of the things that we didn't really see there, um, but has been heavily rumored, is that we, we could see some of the live-action Spider-People pop up somewhere in this movie. Um, and... 
look, while I think Shameek Moore, Haley Steinfeld, Jay Johnson would be awesome in live action, um, if you could if you could have Oscar Isaac in a Spider Man suit, like I know he's Moon Knight in the MCU, but in, in the Spider World, like I'm pretty sure if you did some sort of live action crossover and you kept these characters with their voice actors, people would people would understand it. I I, I mean I would I would be here for it to see Oscar Isaac in a Spider Man costume. That would look awesome. But what he's doing voice wise with what's going on with the animation, like Spider Man twenty nine. 2099 is no joke and, and I, I that it just the emotional weight of the movie you just feel it man like you feel what's on the line and what's at stake for miles and i can't wait to watch how lord and miller you know kind of traverse that and, and dissect that from a concept standpoint and where ultimately this spider-verse movie will take us um like i said you, you'd have to think that miles will ultimately make the right decision but I don't know. Could he try to do both? I, I'm really excited. And I love that they don't... It didn't really seem like they gave away any third act stuff. We don't know what the major threat is, right? Like, what is it that, that Peter has... Or Miles has in front of him? What are the, What's the other choice? Um, so I like that we don't have any of that kind of given away. Look forward to having surprises uh, uh, there. And the one thing, I guess, that we haven't seen... But, you know, when you're on IMDb... Of the villains that could be coming in here... Adrian Toomes is being voiced by Jorma Tacone. Um, so we could very much get Vulture, or we will very much get Vulture. So I wonder if he'll be attached in some way to whatever that overarching threat is. Um, and I wonder if there'll be other villains. I, you'd have to imagine so. Um, so that, that look, man, everything that's there looks great. And then, like I said, when even if you just mix in the family stuff, right? Like, Miles' parents may be starting to figure out that he is Spider-Man. Like, they're emotionally there's going to be a lot at stake for miles and as an audience member i'm pretty sure i'm going to need to bring some tissues <laughs> so i don't shut up man this movie looks phenomenal i cannot freaking wait the question is what about you how big of a spider-man fan are you guys um how big of a spider verse fan are you what are you looking forward to here um are you super psyched can you not wait for june 2nd um what's popping in these trailers what types of things from the animation from the story um and from the the, the more that we've seen now you know you got you got the the lobby which very much kind of gives you citadel vibes if you're a rick and morty fan um so what do you think about the concepts the things that are going on here what are you looking forward to what are you not looking forward to what are you worried about are you just not here for these types of movies anything you got man good bad indifferent on the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse second official trailer. Put it down below in the comments section. I look forward to talking to you down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with C-Man anytime. We're talking movies, TV, trailer, reactions. We're only a few months away from Spider-Verse. You want to be here to see what my uh, immediate thoughts and reactions are to that. Um, you just want to show C-Man a little love and support. You dig the Bible. Hey, come join C-Maniac Nations where you can do all those things simply by jumping over there. Hitting that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time for the C-Man Cinema, sit down. I've been the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, <laughs> you guys are still here. You snuck up on me. You must be looking for more of this guy. Well, I got two video options for you, man. Right up here and right over here. And if you want all those C-Man goodies, well, hey, come join the squad right on over there. And I'll catch you on the next one.